started already? Well, it did now. Oh, yeah, we'll so, yeah, so. go. Intro. Listen to it. What's going on, guys? <laughs> Welcome to GIMP episode number four. This week with our special guest, the Broadsword, or Jimmy Broadway, whatever he would uh, like himself to be known. He's got a few once, names. Once, once again, back with uh, Sansy as well, so... um. Always like to kick start off with uh, James. How have you been, mate? Yeah, What's been not, happening? not too bad. Just uh, bought a new car recently, so it feels yeah. alright. No, um, obviously yeah. Christmas break as well. So yeah, it's been pretty busy. Plenty of birthdays around this time. So yeah, it's good. Not wrong, not wrong. It's been pretty good. Uh, almost the new year as well. I might yeah. add there. So exciting times, exciting times. Sazzy, how about yourself? How was? Uh, how have you been since the last one? When was the last one last week? Yeah, last week. <laughs> but it was before Christmas, so yeah, a, lot, sure. a lot's happened in a week. It's all right. Went so. to the uh, the Derby. Oh, very nice. The yeah, 1-0 win. Nice to see those city flogs. Well, not get flogs, sadly, but they lost. That's all that matters. Uh, <laughs> not wrong, not wrong. Fair enough. Oh, we're a minute in. What's the special today doing? Special today, for everyone listening out there, is uh, good old NBA, because James is an absolute fanatic. Sort of a jack of all trades with sports, but decided to go with the NBA. Yeah, for, good choice, good for choice. This one, because that's right up uh, Broadway's alley. Middle of the season, so that's a good yeah, time coming for it. right in to uh, that, actually. Not too far away from the All-Star game as well. I'm yeah, like it's that. pretty exciting. So, good times ahead. For, Vote, uh, votes have just started, so... Have you voted yet? Oh, are you, are you I, I, vote? I haven't voted yet, but I'll, I'll get in Ooh. as many as I can for Kyrie, so... <laughs> Got to get, like him, gotta get him in the game. Like he's going to need any help to get in. So. Yeah, true. Um, East is pretty weak with star players, so... So, obviously, Celtics fan, Jim. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, been Celtics fan for a while. So, why? Though? Why the Celtics? Yeah. Can you remember exact <coughs> point when you started going for the Celtics? Oh, well, just in primary school, people would be like, who do you go for? And I just said Celtics, and then ever since then, basically just haven't been able to pick another team. Wow, you bandwagon me, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, this, oh. was, this was before 08, so... Yeah. I, still, I still remember, like... In primary school, when we went, like everyone either had like it was, it was the basketballs that you could get from Kmart, and I remember because Liam Hayes had the Boston Celtics one, mm. Mick had the Detroit Pistons one, and I and like that whole like Mustang like look, I was like that looks fucking sick. Yeah. There was always something about like the color green, and that's why like I was just like Boston's like the cool ours, and then obviously being into NBA, being out of it, and yeah, back and forth, and then finally as of last year, back into uh, following it quite closely. But you've been following it for. But the age is like pretty close. I yeah. don't know, Do you only follow one team now? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the Celtics. Yeah. But I still remember that the first time you know, I went for the Cel- uh, the Cavs. I think it was uh it was ironic that it was there. But it was coaching horses. Yep. Two thousand and eight. Was that because of LeBron James? No, nah, Cavs Chicago game was on, <laughs> and um, it was either chill at like chill at uh, like a chair by myself and watch the NBA, mm. or you know. Make conversation with uh, like my grandma and dad and stuff. <laughs> so I went straight to the chair, and Mo Williams was dominating that game. Oh yeah, fuck, oh, freaking back when he was an all. I think he was an all star that season, if I remember correctly. So God, LeBron James was just a bonus. I was all about Mo Williams. I was mm. devastated when he got traded, but he ended up being Kyrie. <coughs> so yeah, well, the deal worked out pretty well. What was the deal in the end? Was, I think it was uh, Mo Williams for to the Clippers. For an unprotected well, pick. Unprotected pick and Baron Davis. Gee, they'd love to have that one back. Yeah, true that. Because they would have... Imagine Blake Griffin and Kyrie. Yeah, that tearing, highlights. Highlights. Tearing shit up. It's a we, scary thought. Because mm. I'm trying to think of other point guards. And, I think Brandon Knight was in that draft class. Yeah. Well, so was Kemba Walker. Mm. So Tristan Thompson probably would have been a... He wouldn't have been a Cavalier. Because mm. they had pick four, I think, that was theirs. So yeah, well... Kyrie didn't go number one. Ended up building back to the championship, getting LeBron back. That ended up being the main reason why, though. So yeah, I know. I still, it's I don't know. It's kind of cool to think about like, what the team would look like if they didn't get LeBron back. Yeah, I still remember like I was really keen for like to see what Anthony Bennett could do. <laughs> I was really hyped for that, and then he got traded because I remember like the last few games or like the last few like months of the twenty. You know, what was it? Twenty yeah, his rookie season. He, he did all right. Even in summer league, he did okay. Yeah, I remember when you guys yeah. traded Andrew Wiggins as well. You're a bit yeah, a bit excited, a bit disappointed at yeah. the same time. It's gonna happen this year again. Yeah, we'll draft freaking you know Michael Porter. Yeah, and we'll trade him for freaking like I don't know who's a who's an older player. Yeah, speaking of the draft, have you been watching much college? Yeah, I have. 
Who do you reckon is going to go to number one? Oh, for number one pick. Yeah. I haven't been watching... Like, ESPN barely plays, like, Duke and stuff, so I haven't really watched much Mm. of those games. But, um... Yeah, I'm not sure. Luke, I reckon Luke, probably Trey Young. Luca Doncic is making a lot of noise over in Europe, though. Yeah, I know. Just um, people think but, he's um, haven't seen anyone that good at that a, age. So good change of uh, topic though, Jim. Draft. Um, but yeah, I reckon Trey Young. I saw an interesting comment today about uh, yeah, something about like where was he rated at the start of the season? He's come from like nowhere. Lottery, yeah, think, or even lower. Because I think lower, I remember seeing his name before the season, mm. but I don't. It wasn't really high up. Yeah, because there's not not many good point guards this year. It's yeah. More bigs but, and but like, if someone said like they let Curry like Curry slid, mm. and he was posting like pretty similar. Yeah, uh, and there's lots of similarities between yeah. them too. So it's just like, do you want to all te- like it's unlikely, but mm. would you let another Curry slip past? Yeah. If you were like a top five team, would be a big just, risk. Yeah, because what position does he play? Like, is he point guard? He's point guard, yeah. Really good ball handler. Just chucks up lots of threes. Just basically what Curry does. Yeah. Just, yeah. It'll be interesting to see what happens with Michael Porter. Yeah. Like, if he uh, yeah. slips and slides it's, down the old... Uh, he was so highly rated at the start of the year, though. You mm-hmm. can't see him sliding much. I reckon he'll go to, like... Because you look at, um... Harry Giles yeah like before like his Duke season yeah bad knee problems though yeah yeah I know that but like he was top mm. what like five almost certainty and then he just kept getting injured mm. so I guess what he has though is like he actually came back yeah he still didn't really I he mean, had bad he had bad injuries in high school as well it was mm. Porter I think was alright yeah. Michael Porter mm. uh, please come to Cleveland <laughs> yeah Please come to Cleveland. But, um, freaking out, perfect seven o'clock. Uh, the uniforms. We yeah, the brand, the brand new shitty uniform. Do you want to get them up? Have a look at them? I've, I've seen all the ones that I'm not going to. I am in love with that Lakers one, dude. Yeah. Mm. That and the Miami Heat one. As soon as I saw the Heat one, it just reminded me of Vice, like GTA Vice City. Like, straight away. I think that's that what is going so for cool. that. Yeah. Like, like the Miami oh. Vice stuff thing. Well, have you, so have you nice. seen the Boston grey one with the parquet oh, on it? Oh yeah, I I don't know about like the like the I like the grey with the green, but I just don't know if I like the like yeah. I don't, the reason for that's because the sort of thing. the court has always had that traditionally as oh. the court design. Like it's the only court that's got that sort of oh, okay. in the wood. Okay, that's pretty cool. Home. So yeah, they put it on the jersey. So the lake uh, no, so the, the Golden like on State it. one. Yeah. Whoa. It's a, it's a bit different, in my opinion. I hate Cleveland's as well. Oh, Philly's one's nice, but I don't know if I like that it says, like... It's, it's filler. Just, yeah, it's filler. Yeah. I would prefer it to say it Philly. It says filler on your shirt. Yeah, but it's just like... Mm, I yeah. don't want it in this text, though. Yeah. But it's like, I don't know. But it, I, I rate that jersey. Like, I want a Kuzma jersey in that Lakers. Oh, yeah, one's so weird. bad. Like, like, Kuzma's the, um, good. All, the, like, the classic-looking jerseys... They look sick, like the Celtics one, the Philadelphia one, uh, like a few others. But as soon as they try to get like too modern, yeah, like that's when like Nike like screwed it up. Like even like Cleveland's home one, they went for like. I a don't want the but the, the, the Hornets one. If that's not too yeah, bad. Yeah, the Hornets one looks awesome. No, as well. I like the sides on the Hornets and one. the Utah Jazz with the, like the red shading and the yellow. Oh. So I don't know, but yeah, Nike's they're doing a lot of jerseys, mm. like in the short like. So I know we're halfway through the season, but like already it's been great. And the Christmas jerseys didn't look all that like. They didn't have a Christmas jersey. Oh, so they, oh shit! I said that to Jimmy yesterday. Um, that was devastating because that's like the one, the one thing you look forward yeah. to. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, the Christmas jerseys. Yeah. Which almost makes you question what their plans are for the All Star jerseys then. Yeah, like, I'm not sure actually. Usually that's leaked by now. So but I can't confirm if it's has been leaked or not. Chicago is not. Bad. That's real. That's so retro. That, that thing's on one. <laughs> oh, lovely. Yeah. Right. Yeah, the Chicago. Yeah, like like I said before, like when they go like retro like that. That's that when they look sick. When they go, you know, more modern. Yeah. Like the kind of D- Detroit. Games. Detroit's boring. Golden State one. Yeah. It looks okay. It's cool color. Like I like. Pacers one's pretty cool. Race car mm. stuff. Style. Clippers looks like OKC. But the Lakers one definitely. I love Lakers it. one like that yeah, sucks. Just like the yellow outline. That's as good as it gets to me in the jersey. 
New Orleans purple. Yeah. And it was designed by Kobe, I saw as well. Mm. Mighty great. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, I saw something about the Munda. What about the Orlando one? Magic pattern. <laughs> That's not too bad. That was pretty cool. Yeah, it looks so. pretty. It looks alright when they're like um wearing it and stuff. Mm. The full one. Oh, the other one, oh, the Raptors one looks a bit how it's like the North, and then you got like Rip yeah. City for Blazers. Yeah. But, oh, man, oh, there's a few cool ones, but I was reading somewhere as well. Jazz as well. Yeah, that yeah, looks so there. nice. I was reading on Facebook, actually walking up here, because I saw, I was like just scrolling through my newsfeed on our Facebook, and I was like reading the comments about the Heat one, and everyone was just like, oh, it'd be interesting to see like what your thoughts as well, like while you're both here, is they were like, oh, I wish um, Nike wasn't the sponsors of like the jerseys, like I wish it was still back to Adidas and stuff. Because mm. like, yeah, they would do like a few crazy things, but it wasn't just like, like really crazy in your face like yeah. colours and stuff I guess and like they were yeah. like super flashy but like it's like cool a lot of it's cool like... that they bring out a whole heap of different ones though like, cause like in the future people look back at them and be like yeah that's actually really awesome like, I don't know I reckon the like, statement so a lot of the statement ones I'm pretty happy with which one of the statement ones the uh, third uh, yeah I think yeah. yeah the third one so if your cows one it's like that black one without the C in yeah. the front I, don't know. I reckon that jersey looks clean as but it's um yeah Adidas did it so much better though. Like, I, yeah, I hate that modern look in like anything. So I saw because on uh, on the show audits as well on uh, their Facebook page because I followed them. It's funny how they were like it was a picture of Kemba Walker in the jersey and they were like, "How good are these colours for like their like jersey or whatever?" And then every like all these audits fans were like, "How good's an actual window? Stop worrying about the jersey." And I was yeah. like, oh, rip. But they need to go. <laughs> I wish they would start doing what um, a chart like. Colin and college do. Like, I like how college has done it. Just kind of, you know, keep the look simple over. Well, that that college one that I sent to you, yeah. that one, that jersey looks so good. So, I wish they'd just done that, like, stuck with, you know, the jerseys we already had. <laughs> yeah. Just slap the Nike tick on it. Would have been fine. I, can't, I wish they did what Oregon does. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if you've, like, ever seen it before. The black one? Uh, oh, no, like, Oregon rips out friggin', like, <laughs> 10 uniforms a year don't is that oh shit for a reason though don't they oh yeah I think aren't most, they based near yeah like they're, Nike they're or like uh, Nike's based in Oregon yeah I think that's yeah, so cool. that, I think that's why they get looked up well down there but like all their football jerseys and stuff as well are like super yeah. cool so I know they look oh, just like the design of green and so yellow <laughs> yeah and like the feather patterns they yeah. do on that shit yeah no, it's, that's where yeah, I reckon super like cool. um, Australian sports are kind of lacking mm-hmm. lacking like Oh my god, I can't remember. Just the jersey designs aren't. Yeah, the jersey yeah. designs suck ass. Like, I was talking to my brother in law the other day about, like, A League had, like, Star Wars around. Mm. And, like, for the promotions and shit, they did, like, you know, stormtroopers walking out with the players and stuff like that. So it's like, Saw that or something. That's no, cringeworthy. Mm. So, like, bring out, like, R2D2 um, victory jerseys or something like that. Yeah. Like, that'd be so sick. Like, even AFL, like, outside of, what, three jerseys. No, really... And usually there's always that one jersey. Yeah. It's just complete and utter trash. Sorry, mm. back to Hawthorne's Power Rangers jersey. Like, phew, mm. that was that was. They need to bring yeah. They need to bring in more like special kind of edition jerseys. Like it's hard. Like it's hard for them to do retro jerseys and stuff because they just don't change the designs often enough. Yeah, true. So they could even just add in like so so traditionalist. They could even just do something like I don't know, like the Hawthorne. Just have like the old. Say that it's like oh, like, like a like logo a or something. Yeah, yeah. Just chuck them like. I still reckon um, Sixers should bring the black jersey back. The Iverson yeah. one. Oh, that would be clean. That was a, that, that would was be a so sick. Shit. That was one of the best of all time. Yeah, black jerseys just are awesome. I love black jerseys. And the the Lakers baby blue one this season's That's pretty cool. That's funny you say the the, the baby Minas, blue Minnesota yeah jersey. Program. I'm using that on my two K my team. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah I love that jersey. I think it's yeah, clean. It's so hands. good. Yeah. Get like a Carl Kuzma in that oh, one. Oh god, or dude. <laughs> Kuzma and Ingram jersey is so bad. It's like it's just a massive one. Apparently, that's hard to get the Kuzma jersey. Yeah, oh, well, I wouldn't shock you. Speaking of, like, how good are the rookies so far this season? Oh, good change. No, yeah. rookies. This year, it's been fun watching them. Yeah, like they, they're I'm, like going, they're like they're going for it. Oh, <laughs> most, and it, yeah, it's, it makes it fun to like. Like, you just want to check stats daily. Like, obviously, Celtics fan myself. Like, I always want to check on like Tatum and see how my boy Brown's going. And yeah. Stuff. Then obviously being Australian as well, like you can't not be like checking out Ben Simmons. To be honest, I don't so, check out. Really? really? 
Yeah. Oh damn! I, mean, I, I follow. Yeah. I've been watching pretty much just the Sixers when I haven't been watching Celtics. I'm a bit the same. Just like see that. Joel Embiid, favorite player outside of Boston, probably. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's so he's so funny. Oh, that was so funny when Russell Westbrook waved him <laughs> off when they lost that game. Triple overtime. No, nah, but like I like watching the um summer league and you see all the rookies playing and then see who you reckon's going to do well. I reckon, I remember Donovan Mitchell was oh, like he was getting after Tatum in summer league and then. Yeah, he's, he's just exploded. Yeah. Like he's so cool. um determined and like so it's even though like, Dennis Smith Jr.'s been like he's so yeah. like pretty red hot and stuff. Yeah, like, oh, that's good to see. And all that. I think Kuzma yeah. and Tatum both playing really well too. So, so Tatum, Tatum dropping uh, no sorry Kuzma sorry dropping thirty one on the uh, good old Christmas Day. Who do you reckon's going to be better out of those so, two? Out of who? Oh. Tatum and Kuzma. I don't know. I reckon Tatum sort of flies under the radar because, like, everyone's sort of more focused on, like, what Kyrie's doing for yeah. the Celtics yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, so, Not playing his bigger role. Like, in that sort of uh, situation. But, I don't know. Like, you always seen him do, like, a nice, like, little dunk. And even in today's game, probably yeah. he played. If I, if yeah, I well, I was, the, the big difference is Tatum was a freshman. I'm pretty sure Kuzma was... Was he a senior? I'm not sure. Or a junior coming probably, out of college? He's too old. He, he would have been too old. It's, the only, it's probably the only How reason he? he went second round. How old is he? It's like... 20 something I think nice. <laughs> so. nice if you can get a confirmed age we'll be able to work it out yeah but um I'd probably Tatum because there's, surely there's a reason Jason Tatum went pick three, three. compared yeah. to where did Kyle Kuzma go uh, second round second round Even I'm Marquee, pretty sure though, like, late first then there's also the what if of Marquee like how could, could have he who Marquee Fultz Fultz oh Marquee yeah. Mar- Mar- oh, Fultz yeah, yeah. How could, he, how could could he have been with that? that like, you never know. Like, yeah, it was a funny trade at the time, but oh, I remember thinking like, what like are it. we doing and I stuff? Like and then I just like, watching the I summer, it, and yeah. I was like, oh, hello, like, I can get around this. It was funny because during season, I was like, yeah, we don't need a point guard with Isaiah Thomas. Get the best wing. Tatum's a couple inches longer than like wingspan than Jackson and stuff. So I was like, yeah, go for him, just for defensive potential and stuff. And then everyone's like, oh, he's not a great defender. And then we ended up just trading for him anyway. So, like, by the time draft came around, I was like, oh, yeah, we're going to get full. It's like, that's all right. But yeah. then got Tatum. I was like, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> happy with that. Oh, um, yeah, pretty happy with the way things panned out in the end uh, with that. Yeah. Who did, they, why, did they get the Kings pick? Who? The Celtics. Wasn't it the Nets? That we yeah, we had the Nets pick and then we traded to Philly for... I think Philly's pick, unless they had the Kings pick and they I'm swapped. I'm thinking that. I think they got the Kings. Oh, you got the Kings pick off them. Kings ended up with like pick nine or something. Darren Fox is looked all right too. So. Yeah, fuck. What about Darren Fox and Josh? Josh, Josh Jackson. Yeah, Josh Jackson. That's it. Yeah. What even even like second round picks are doing pretty well. Like Josh Hart for the Lakers. Yeah, he's, he's like a. Villa. Yeah, he did all right. He was like a senior out of Villanova, I think. So, just like deep draft is really good for the I league. Think he was player of the year. Um, mm. maybe they won championship. Yeah, couple, yeah, I know. They years did. Ago. Yeah, I he would have been playing. So. Um, Big East or national? I think it might have been national player of the year. Yeah, don't quote me on that. It's yeah, like a fun uh, rookie game to watch. Come, yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. Weekend, actually, it's going to be like that's first and second year players too, isn't it? Still, yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> going to be a lot to choose from. Jesus, I wish I'd go back to a uh, rookie sophomore. Yeah, than just splitting it. Yeah, well... Like, what do you think of the um, All-Star format, actually? At the moment, what, what you, have they you, announced? Did you not know they changed it? In yeah, what is that, are you talking about as in, like, the votes, like, the, the player All-Star votes game. and, like... The All-Star game. Oh, in itself? Yeah. No, I, I haven't heard anything. Um, so, it's, you know, it's East-West. Yeah. Yeah, they're changing oh, the, it to the, captains. Yeah, the captains thing. Oh, yeah, no, I sorry. think it's I good. Heard, like, something about I think that. it's good. Yeah, that should be interesting. Because fa- fans always, like, they wanted to vote Zaza Pachulia oh, into never the starting that. lineup last year. <laughs> that shouldn't Just happen. Just watch like, it. Yeah. Even, though, even though I voted for him a lot. Uh. Well, you <laughs> see, you are the type of people that make this world a worse place to live in, too. I'm just going to put that out there. <laughs> but, um, who do you reckon the captains will be? Mm. Like, hopefully they make it like LeBron and KD or something. Okay, yeah, you, you have or, to think, be. or Russell Westbrook and KD. Or you Russell know, Westbrook. Or, I don't know. No, I but they're both West. Do they're not... You don't get what I'm saying. Oh, it's, it's not an East captain of West. I thought West. it was, because you got I don't think it is. starting fives from each conference. 
Oh, you'd have to think the, how think LeBron has been. You'd have to say LeBron mm. as as a captain. You just have to. Like, there's so many people out well, there. Well, if they, because right. I think that's the whole thing about it. Like, um, I think you vote for the starting five in each conference. Yeah, I'm not sure fans. how it works anymore. And then it's captains for the rest. But it, yeah, well, it doesn't really. It wouldn't be East versus West mm. like fully anymore, like that. Yeah, I know. But yeah, I'm not sure exactly how it works. Mm. But it should be interesting because I don't crazy. really. I think the last All Star thing I watched was um. The Zach Levine versus Aaron Gordon dunk contest. Oh, that was good. Where Aaron Gordon got robbed. Last time I saw yeah, I agree. Absolutely All Star robbed. weekend. I agree. I can't even. I'm trying to. Remember. I don't even. I know that I was at Brandon's that whole weekend though. Oh, yeah. That it was. What I don't know. I can't remember what. You're mentioning that. We're doing like twenty like, fifteen. Yeah, something like that. I just remember there was no commentary for the rookie game, and I was like, "Is <laughs> really? like, dude, what's wrong with your TV?" And he's like, "No, nothing. Like, there's just." Gary Glenn, so. really. <laughs> I just remember Kevin Hart was in the celebrity game. Like, oh, I can yeah. remember that. <laughs> like, yeah, that's, that's, all, that's always good. Stuff like that in 2K would be cool. They bring that back. I never watched the All Star game itself. Yeah, neither. I just watch everything else on All Star weekend. Three I point contest, like, dunk contest. Same last night when I was playing with um, Kirk and like another mate from like. I sort of feel as if the All Star game, it, like in a way, like I know it's not, but like in a way, it's it sort of reminds me of like our uh, like AFL's like EJ Williams Legends game yeah. in the sense of like it's just like uh, like. Well, it's because they don't play uh, defense, and like there's so many like casual fans that just want to see highlights, mm-hmm. and that's what the All Star games become because it's the well, big. I think in baseball, it's the big showcase. I think in baseball, what they do for their All Star game is like so they split into like divisions or mm-hmm. conferences, mm-hmm. I think, and then they um. Like whoever, like whoever wins, they get like um, freaking. So say they make it to like the World Series, they get kind of the uh, home advantage. So they play four home advantage, like four games at home compared to three. So yeah. they could bring that in. Uh, yeah. I would say that would be a good idea. But I don't know. Yeah, well, it's become more about just showing off the athletes, mm. letting people see what they're capable of. Well, I think I watched... They, um, they used to play defense in the All-Star game, though, didn't they? I think so. That would have been good. But, yeah. Have you watched all our McDonald's All-American game? This year? Uh, just, like, in the past. Oh, I've probably seen highlights. Yeah, I think I, I watched... Um, I think I was at uni, and I just... I think I've was, seen the hoops. I think something. I watched yeah. this year's one. And, um, yeah, Muhammad Bamba. Oh, yeah. Michael Porter. I, I went and saw Muhammad Bamba play live at Daniel Stadium. That was pretty cool. <laughs> That'd be yeah. good. You feel like you're pretty good fair like running actually with watching some uh, yeah players well, play. They they'll release it quietly like where all the college teams are going. Like if you follow college and stuff, you kind of get a good idea of who's playing for who. So if you see their team come up and they're playing Daniel or something, it's usually like twenty bucks at, at the That's most. Pretty good. Go down and see future number top five pick or oh, something. Yeah, yeah. And they always let you um go meet and greet players after the game and stuff, which is unique. They so. into the showers. <laughs> Most important question. Yeah. <laughs> Asking for a friend. <laughs> no, nah, but I remember walking past Mo Bamba courtside, and he's a very, very large man. He's very long. His arms are just like Christ, yeah. it's crazy. He's got like a six. Wait, how to, how big is his standing reach again? It's I'm not sure about crazy. That stuff. It's like the more than any player in the NBA. So yeah, but he, he turned out Michigan for Texas for a flog. Yeah, that's just. I think Texas have been going okay though. Yeah, I know, but he's in that mission. So <laughs> no. It's like, why? Yeah. But, um, but I've got a good question for you, Jim. Go on. So, favourite teams from the past 10 years? Favourite teams from the past 10 years? Ooh, that's tough. That is a good question. That's tough. I liked um the Dallas Championship team. Mm. There was no real... Jason Kidd, Dirk Nowitzki, Paya Stojakovic, I'm pretty sure. Was yeah. In there. JJ Brayer. Yeah, JJ Brayer. He's only good when he's playing for Dallas as six man, yeah. and he dominates for for them. He's so good. I guess it's kind of like Lance Stevenson at he's Indiana. Yeah, 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 that's a, that's a good one. Yeah, I remember that team. I remember they. Um, I can't remember what. I think we might have been the first round where they were versing Portland. Yeah. And Brandon Roy, um, like, had just come back from knee injury mm. and freaking won them the game. It was such a good game. They ended up losing the series. Yeah. The and then they ended up taking down the Heat with the first year yeah. of the big three. Oh. So that was a pretty good team. It was good to see Dirk, because Dirk's like a legend of the game and everything. So yeah, good to see him in the know. championship. Jason Kidd, too. Uh, one of my favourite teams, freaking 2010-11 Knicks. 
Yeah. God, yeah. I love that. Did team. they have J.R. Smith and? Uh, or was that Raymond no, Felton? Oh, I think they had J.R. <laughs> was that oh, Raymond? Got, Raymond Felton and Gallinari. They got Gallinari. JR a bit later. Yeah. Yeah. No, not Gallinari. It was Raymond Felton. Uh, I can't remember which shooting guard was. It was Mallow. Mallow, yeah. And then Amari Stoudemire. Yeah. And they had like, shooting guard more uh, Landry Fields. Oh yeah. Remember him? You used to like him, yeah. No, I used to went, love him. Went to the Raptors because he had a great, um, great rookie season. Yeah. And I think then eventually they brought in like, oh, Shump would have been on the team. Yep. Uh, maybe would he have actually? No, but no, he wouldn't have actually. Uh, the season after. Obviously, a uh, 08 Celtics championship team. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's got, big, got to be one of my favorite. Yeah, Paul Pierce, KG, Rondo, oh, Kendrick yeah, Perkins. That was such a good. I love players as that team on two K nine. Brian Scalabrini. So the goat. Yeah, <laughs> legend. Oh, I don't know the 04, 04 he's, he's a good commentator. Pistons team. Ben Wallace, Rasheed Wallace, Phillips. Oh yeah, that, that was, was a good really one. good. That team. was a good one. Yeah, uh, sure. Rip Hamilton. Fuck off. Was Rip Hamilton in that team? Yeah, he, I'm pretty sure he was. Twenty four or two thousand four. Oh think, yeah. I think I think he. Or well, didn't they win another one with like um, Tayshawn Prince and? I remember Prince being in the team because I remember Rip, playing on like, the PSP. Team. Yeah, like two K game, whatever. No, on the NBA Live. Yeah, yeah shit. Yeah, see. Pistons have had a good, uh, some good players go through there. Dennis Rodman, I love Dennis Rodman. Big fan of his game. Yeah, I like the um, the Warriors had a good team in twenty twelve or something like that. One of those years. With David Lee. Like Monte Ellis. Monte yeah. Ellis. David uh, Lee. Yeah, David Lee, Curry in the back court. Yeah. I used to like those guys. And then they made the big call on um, Monte Ellis and everyone thought it was the wrong yeah. call, but it was definitely not the wrong call. I can't remember who they got for him. Andrew Bogut. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Traded him to the Bucks, and mm. then um, Bucks got JJ Redick and had Mike Dunleavy and stuff and oh, was like Monte they had Ellison. a bunch of good shooters Jennings at the Bucks oh yeah Jennings that's right oh he was a I love watching Jennings play <laughs> yeah him, him and Ellis are no longer in NBA are they nah. they both didn't yeah, get picked up No. Nah. where's Ellis <clears throat> uh, unsigned free agent at the moment yeah didn't get a gig not a good enough shooter not a good enough defender you should go join his um, quotation marks brother Perry <laughs> Ellis Perry Ellis <laughs> in Sydney, <laughs> Sydney Kings. That'd be mad though if the NBA Al could get Monte Ellis to play. Yeah. That'd be good ass. That's where they should go. Yeah, it'd be a good direction for it too, because then you'd have more people like wanting to. They actually to, should yeah. do that too. Like NBL's building pretty well. Like they're getting better players like out of college and stuff too, and like they got Josh Childress who was a free agent at the time. So yeah, they could get so many seniors mm. from just like. Kind of big, like big college programs. Yeah, especially like the ones that stay around. They get a lot of the um the short point guards that are really good in college that yeah. don't quite make it in the NBA, mm. but they're like NBA level shooters and stuff like that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. But uh, another team I like, um, t- the 2014 Cavs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the season before LeBron, like Spencer Hawes, uh, Tristan Thompson. That was a great. Still had Varage, yeah. Yep, Severia. Oh, the man himself. Still had him. The wild thing. I remember they turned, the Cavs turned down a trade offer in the 2013 draft. They could have got, um, they could have traded Verjao. Yeah. For pick seven, which could have been Harrison Barnes. Yeah, that would have been okay. So, that would have been, I don't know why they turned it down, to be honest. Barnes so, is decent, but I mean, you so they could have been repping, you know, I think like, what's 2013? I don't know, wherever Barnes is drafted, 2012, I think, or something like that. Mm. So that could have been a good little um, team there. Like, what, Kyrie, Dion Waiters, yeah. Barnes, Anthony Bennett, and then um, Tristan Thompson. Like, I can, even your Cavs team of, right. as of like this year, though, is pretty like dangerous. Yeah. So, like, Wade and Roselle, like, that could be so dangerous come finals. Mm. Like, he's, in all seriousness. He's like, approaching, I think. Then coming off the, the bench. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, he's coming. as well. He's coming. Like, that's just such yeah. a scary thought. He should be know. a good fit playing with LeBron and everything too. I don't even know what the deal with Derrick Rose is. I don't even know if he's still in the league. Like, I think he might be on their roster, but he doesn't play. Got issues. Yeah. Yeah. I feel, but um, freaking Calder Ryan's been pretty good though. Yeah, he's been. Every good. game I watch, he's always knocking down threes. Yeah, he's steady. God, what a beast. So, yeah. Decent that uh, third point guard. See Rondo's game today. At 20, 20, 25 assists, 20, career 20. high. What's the highest of all time? I think it's really 30. close to that. Yeah, 
Isn't that held by Scott Skiles? Yeah. Yeah. Orlando Magic. Former yeah. Milwaukee oh. coach. Yeah. He was Should he was coach it. when um they had Bogut. I remember that Milwaukee team because they used to be on TV all the time because of Bogut. They had like yeah. Brandon Jennings, Andrew Bogut, John Salmons, Mike Dunleavy. Yeah, true that. Do you remember the the Pacers team though? Like the Danny Granger. Danny Granger, yeah, they were another one that were you oh, saw. Let me tear that up, Danny Granger. He went too early, I think. Oh no, yeah, they had Mike Dunleavy. That's right. He was more of a Pacers player, wasn't he? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, he was he was in that team. Couple even of like the shooters. Atlanta Hawks from a few years ago, like Jeff Teague. Oh yeah, Al Horford, Al Horford, Horford, Horford Millsap, Horford, Millsap, and they Damari all Carroll. Made the, um, even Damari Carroll was an all star. Yeah, one oh, year all, with those all, guys. I think at various times they all made it. That's yeah, crazy. No, that, I think there was like one season where like four or might have been the whole starting like lineup made it. Yes. Like that. <laughs> that so they crazy. got like 20-ish wins. And then right? they got wrecked in the playoffs anyway. Yeah, by the Cleveland. Well, I was just thinking about Leonard Hawks, and I just can't help but think of that absolute flog. Dennis Schroeder. Oh, I hate that guy so oh, much. What did, he, what did he do? I just hate him. So He's got the face of KSI. Nah, him. You should have seen <laughs> him. And just his hair. It's just like all black, and then like that one like little blonde. It's like, what? We've got a big rivalry with oh. him, because Isaiah Thomas and him were going out of last season. Like, oh. real hard. So... <laughs> Not a lot of love lost between us and his Hawks team now, so. But yeah, they're pretty trash at the moment. Atlanta. Yeah, we'll be interested to see what happens. Who do you reckon's going to um, go into tank mode after the All Star break? And who do you reckon's going to shoot for the last few Chicago. seeds? Chicago will shoot for the playoffs. playoffs. Yeah. They, they won like, today or like the other day. They, they, they won today, I think, yeah. over the Knicks. They won like eight of their last. Nine or, or something, yeah. Two or nine or the last eleven, maybe. Something like that. Maybe more. Probably Atlanta will flog it. No, I think they went on like a nine win streak or something like no, that. Oh, Levine's not even playing for them yet. He's still Levine. Back. Yeah, I know. Well, Chris Chris Dunn's a player I really liked in college playing for Providence. Like Providence have got the black jerseys and stuff, it's pretty cool. Yeah. But um yeah, I liked him and then he went to Minnesota and everyone was like, Oh, he's overrated, he's not that good. But I kept the faith in him. He's playing really well now. With uh, Chicago. He values that faith in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's got, um, he's like really good defender. Like, there's so many underrated defenders in the league, I reckon. Just no one knows about him. Yeah, no one cares about defense, so. Yeah, I know. It sucks. I don't. It sucks. <laughs> it's like Marcus Smart. Um, everyone hates him. I don't know. That's, uh, <laughs> it's just his shooting. Like, yeah. I find that I, when, it, when the game's like there, like on the line or whatever, it's, he, I don't know. I feel like he just, he's like, I'll take the shot. And it's like, dude, like, yeah, it's like oh, it's like him and like Michael Kidd, Gil, Chris, and um, yeah, those guys are they can't shoot, but they're still positive players overall, just because their defense and hustle and all that. Yeah, like, I remember Michael Kidd, Gil, Chris. He was meant to be like pretty big mm. like, when he got picked up. And yeah, like, like Buddy Hill. His shooting, like his shooting action is so gross. There's so many players that like coming out of high school, they were like touted as number one mm. picks. Yeah, like he was one of them, and he slid down to freaking just in the lottery, I think. And uh, Pat Beverly, I love Pat Beverly. Um, do you remember him and uh, Westbrook going at it in the playoffs a few years ago? Vaguely. Oh, where Westbrook got injured and everyone blamed it on Beverly, but I didn't. Like, nah, I still love Beverly though. Um, um, really hope the um, actually I don't know. I'm kind of torn how the Nets do because I wanted to do shit because you want Cleveland's pick. got a pick. Yeah, but I wanted to do well because I like I like Okafor. Mm. I love Dave Russell. Yeah. Mm. Even he's a bit of a snake. They've done pretty well to get some good players in with yeah. no draft picks or anything. Well, two out of the first three picks in the 2015 draft mm. are at the Nets. Yeah. They picked up Jared Allen, which is, yeah. I think he's alright. Plus, they got Karis Levert. Out of Texas. Shooting guard. Yeah, Levert's pretty good. They, pretty they good. Like, traded a like cash or something for him at the time. Or maybe like no, they had a future two. for Levert for the no, draft they had rights. Their, um, they had like their, they had their first round pick in 2016 or something like that, or someone else's. We we would oh, it might have been us swapping with them or something. Yeah, something like that. We had like all their picks through there. And um, yeah, they got they like he slid down because um, he had like injured, the injuries yeah. in college mm-hmm. in like Michigan. So yeah, like but apparently like a lot of people were saying like if he was healthy, mm. he would have been like lottery easy. Yeah, like he has that skill, but yeah. So that should just see what happens with the Nets. Yeah, and like Spencer Dinwiddie 
been bouncing around the league for ages. They pick him up and he's doing really well starting point guard and stuff. So. Yeah, just do shit this year. And yeah. Oh, yeah, because Jer- Jeremy Lin's out for the year. He's a key player for him. Jeremy so. Lin. He's oh, right. Oh, that's sanity. You know, I was to say that. Just remember when that just blew up. Yeah. yeah, he wasn't even good back then either. Those are good days. Yeah. I remember like Linham hating him. that. He had that run. It was so good. Linham. Yeah, talking to Linham about that in my meeting. He's like, I fucking hate it. Like, Oh, everyone's just jumping on a fucking wagon, man. He was still pretty bad. Good. Like, that got him such a big, like, payday mm. with the Rockets, and he wasn't good yet. And then he's gone to the... I think he went to Charlotte. Lakers. Oh, he went to Lakers, yeah. But then he went to the Hornets, and he had, like, a really good season last season or something, and then went yeah. to the Nets. Speaking of Lakers, that, I really wish that um the Steve Nash, Kobe, and Dwight... Worked out. Yeah, worked out. That would be yeah. cool to see. Like, oh, I still don't like Dwight Howard very much. I like Dwight Howard. I was speaking of another teams I like. Like, we'll go back to why you don't like Dwight. But um, the Orlando Magic teams. Oh, yeah. With, like, Vince Carter, Rashid he, Lewis. Hedo Tokalu, Mikhail Petrus. Oh, Jason Richardson, I think. Did they have... Oh, no. They Tokalu was there. Yeah. Um, Who were the point guys? Jimmy Nelson. Oh, yeah, that's right. He was good. Nelson. He was, like, an all-star. One yeah. year with them, I think too. Like I miss that. I miss that Orlando team and Ryan Anderson, Ryan Anderson. JJ Redick. Didn't they have another Anderson? Oh, I can't remember. Uh, yeah, never mind. No, um, yeah, I can't remember off the top of my head. But that was a good. That was a good Orlando team. Mm. Shame they couldn't win anything. Yeah, they got close, but yeah, yeah. Why do you hate them? I don't know. I actually like him. I don't like players that can't shoot free throws. <laughs> basically, no, just straight up. <laughs> What's your thoughts on Andre Robinson? Andre Robertson. Because he plays D. And you like the D. Oh, yeah. You like D. You, know? you like the defense. Kind of torn. Kind of torn on Robertson. I don't like him that much, but like, um, but he plays defense. You you love defense. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> you know, Tough one. yeah, he's he's. It's because he's such a bad shooter. Like yeah. he's a really, really like smart's bad. Kid Gilchrist is bad, but Robertson, I think, is just another level. Well, I was watching Thunder versus... Like, you should see Westbrook, when Robertson's shooting free throws, Westbrook's just going nuts, just trying yeah. to encourage yeah, him. Yeah, I saw it. It's that. so funny. Uh, <laughs> and he still misses anyway. <laughs> I can't remember who they were versing. It was probably like Rockets or something. I think yeah. it was that a Christmas game. If they played on Christmas, I mm. remember. But, um, yeah, Andre, like, the commentators were saying, like, he started, like, 200 odd games out of, like, mm. a certain, like, I think it might have been 200 odd or maybe 300 mm. like possible games so like obviously like the staff see something in him mm. they like it was like that triple overtime or something against Philadelphia he had a chance to win the game yeah, in regulation watch. and he it was like a yeah. a layup alley and he just didn't shoot it he ended up winning the game though that game. yeah he did like he <laughs> went and sat, not sat on the bench with his head in his hands just Hating himself over it, and he then he scored, got he got another chance. He scored the last four points of that game. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> it was such an easy finish. Like he had about three different ways he could have he could have dunked it. He could have shot it as a left hand layup or something. Yeah. He was highly talented. <laughs> he was highly talented as well. Yeah, I just don't like when players don't live up to their potential because they just don't improve. I remember seeing uh, on Facebook as well. Just uh, I think Shaq was saying that. At one stage, uh, they wanted to get T Mac to Lakers when it was like Shaq yeah, T Mac. Yeah. That would be mad crazy. Team. Wow, that would be so cool. Like oh, just those three just makes like... makes me think of when um David Stern barred the trade, like he vetoed the trade for yeah. Chris Paul to go to Lakers. That would be crazy. <laughs> well, didn't have, uh, someone was telling me at work like um, LeBron James really wants to play with CP three? I'm not sure if that's like 100 percent true or not, but like. Apparently he's really keen to play with him, like alongside him. With him playing for Mike D'Antoni, that would be nuts. Like they'd have him and Harden, Chris Paul, yeah, no sh- all Bob. playmakers, and all of them can shoot threes. Except like LeBron. Surely they wouldn't have room for him though. That'd be the only issue. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, like how do they like? They traded like half their team to get yeah. Chris Paul to the Clippers. So. so. And so, Lou Williams at the Clippers. Yeah, oh, he's been good to watch. But Houston's that was pretty smart because they traded like half the team, and then they just went and picked up all these defensive minor players, mm. and they still put up like 120 points a game. But now they got a better defensive unit. It was three in a row, I think. Yeah, right. but before that they won. Plus three. Yeah. They won like. They won like ten or yeah, something yeah, in a row, like, like ridiculous. They were closer to the Celtics one. Yeah, and then yeah, they like lost. And when Chris Paul came back, they won like the next oh, eight by fun. double figures or more. Man, 
Like, he's such a good fit for them as well because their offense has so much space. Well, and he's he, really good, like, at finding players. Sneaking at the top of the east now is uh, the Raptors, aren't they? Yeah, flying like, under the radar. That's so under the radar. Man. Yeah. No one talks about them because their team's just been the same, but, well, like, really. all the time. But what they've done is they've gotten a few decent draft picks that are a little bit older and stuff, like Fred Van Vliet. He was good at Wichita State. We've got the guy from Indiana, I'm pretty sure, like, OG... On an over, yeah, he's yeah. good too. Like defensive player, stretch four, decent shooter. That, that'll always be trash in Toronto. He was like a second round pick though, and he hit like six threes in a game. Yeah. It'll always be trash. Like that's what they like past five years. They've just done the same thing. Like, yeah, like they win two playoff yeah. rounds and, like, and they'll like get knocked out. Seed, yeah, and then they get knocked out. Wizards will be up there again, I reckon. As yeah. well. Mm. Come finals for playoff, like yeah. Yeah, but basically Raptors have just ended up with a good rotation about. Eight to ten players are just solid, mm. like good depth. I'm so. glad. Uh, speaking of wizards, I'm glad Otto Porter's doing. Ah, oh, sorry, Otto Porter. Yeah, I got that right. <laughs> yeah. He's doing well. Yeah, I like him. Mm. I was. Oh, it's always good to see. Uh, John. Yeah, John Wall. And Bradley, Bradley Beal. Beal. Mm. Just. Oh, man. Good duo that. It is a very good, a dangerous one. Mm. So, oh. Because I remember, like, oh, Cleveland could have had, if they just got a bit more luckier, well, they got pretty lucky in the draft. But, mm. Like, in those 2012, like, if they just like, got a tiny bit luckier, they could have snagged um, Bradley Beal instead of Dion Waiters. <laughs> well, that so, crazy. him and Curry next to each other would have been great. Yeah. And then in 2013, if they drafted any, like, Auto Porter instead of Anthony Bennett, like, it's what, yeah, the, the good old what if. Yeah. Like, really. Apparently, um, crazy to think. Jason Tatum and Bradley Bill know each other really well. They, like, train with each other in the offseason. Mm. That's probably why uh, Tatum's such a good shooter already. Mm. Yeah, could be. Shooting. Yeah. Even with Dollar Deeper, though. Like, I'm enjoying watching his season. This yeah. Year, like, How, yeah, what did we think of stuff. that trade, in hindsight, Paul George for him and Sabonis? Sabonis is playing really well, too. Probably looking looking at it like not really knowing much about like Oladipo or Sabonis, I was like that to me like seems so like so bad mm. on like Pacers part, but Oladipo is playing probably better than Paul George, so mm. it's not that stupid of a move. Yeah, like anyone would have done it. Actually, going pretty well. Do they get a draft pick as well? Probably. probably. Yeah. Yeah, like anyone would have done that. Yeah. But even you look at like the trades are like well he's sick. going anyway so mm. like Mellow as well to Thunder and then like that hoodie Mellow hype before the season oh, yeah. and then like the actual season starts and it's just, just like he's not able to change his role. Uh, just he want... said something about that the other day. Yeah, he wants. Is he trying? Like he's trying to now. Yeah, he wants like and then won five in a row. Well, he he has to give something to win a championship now. You've got to realize that when you're at his age, you and you haven't won anything. Ooh, must be they're averaging well. like the big three averaging like 67 points a game mm. for the past five games yeah so just keep getting the ball into Westbrook's hands he'll hit the, hit the key and it's, then you'll have more space to work with they're starting to get there yeah. they've still got ages as well they've got like freaking four months mm. to kind of get the Westbrook's tomahawk dunks I've been seeing some <laughs> of them they are so dangerous like, oh. who's your favourite dunker in the league oh. in game on man, like the way that Dennis Smith Jr. was, he was fun to watch. At yeah. the start of this season, like his highlights packages were good to watch. But man, I always love seeing the Jalen Brown dunk. Yeah, I like, just slowing it down. I reckon Larry Nance but Jr. That was. Re- what are you talking about that? Katie? Not just oh, that one. Because that was. Did you see his one from last season over Brook Lopez? No. Now, now they're teammates. How would that conversation go? Remember, remember that time I dunked on you. Well, was yeah, it running the world saw it? Was it Otto? What, who did this? He dunked like on three people, I think, or something like that. There was like one player, and he dunked on like three players like the other day, and it was like that was impressive. And he's only like a short dude too; like he's not like that tall. Otto Porter. Like yeah, well, I don't know if like it is Otto Porter, foot, but like it wouldn't have been. Been He's like yeah. six foot. I don't know, like three guys something. like went up, and mm. he was just like boom, and I was like, what the f-? like hair? Like it shouldn't happen, but it does. Could have been <laughs> like Giannis can dunk. From any yeah, position, this is pretty ridiculous. Much. I remember watching that box game against Celtics and just his spin moves and stuff inside the key is just where well, that is something to watch. He, yeah, best oh. dunker, uh, would have to be Nate Robinson. Oh, <laughs> oh, not to who, oh. Outs- outside of games, though. 
Oh, I'm sorry, Jack. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, he won the dunk contest, and how how tall is he again? Like, he's short. Yeah. Like five, I don't know. Maybe like five eleven, five ten. Do you win it twice in a row? Yeah, or I think something? You won it twice in a row. With that dunk over the kryptonite dunk. See, that's good. That's huge. <laughs> yeah. That is ridiculous. Yeah, Larry Nance's wingspan is big, so he can. He just like extends his arm over people. Okay. Yeah, I didn't realize uh, Larry Nance's dad <laughs> played for the Cavs. Played for the Cavs. I didn't realize that till literally the other day. Yeah. You see a lot of those though. Yeah. Like Stephen Adams did one today. Yeah. Yeah. Mike I like Stephen Adams. Yeah. I don't know. It kind of loses for me. Like dunking, like stuff like that. It's, I don't know. It's always nice to see an Opac. I'm yeah. loving how Jordan Bell gets onto so many like, yeah. alleys. It's just yeah. like, oh. that's, any... that's another one. Like, another rookie that was, like, late. He was, like, um... They bought him. Jordan Bell. Yeah, they yeah, bought they bought that draft pick on draft night. Cash considerations. Yeah. Like, from Chicago or something. Everyone's just like, oh, how's cash considerations going for you? <laughs> so, Jordan Bell's pretty good. Yeah, handy. <laughs> yeah. But, um... The best dunks, though, are just always the, um, alley oops. Mm. Kind of past Goodell, you. I always love seeing some of the AIs uh, on Iverson's lines. Do you remember like the, onto the rain and stuff. J.R. Smith reverse alley oop? Vaguely. One where he did the double pump? Vaguely. Oh, that was mad. Was that at the Knicks or was Not that sure. with you guys? I think it was with the Knicks. Probably with the Knicks when he was more athletic. Yeah, and when he was at Denver when he was even more athletic. Yeah, the Denver J.R. Smith. Oh, he had Vince some Carter dunks, though. Like, they're good. Yeah. yeah. Vince Carter. Yeah. Scored, like, he had scored good game today, 24 well. points. He's like 40 years old. <laughs> Him and Manu, both 40. Oh. Manu had a two hand put back dunk like, oh. in traffic this week. <laughs> yeah, like, like, this <laughs> week. And he's a, he's like a shooting guard. He's not. <laughs> See, dunks where they're like right in the face of the other people. Like, mm. I love them. And I love, like, that's why the dunk contest is good. Or yeah. why the Aaron Gordon one was good. Because, you know, like novelty dunks. Mm. I dig that. But just like regular slams. Yeah, I don't know. I can't get excited for that. Makes you wonder how long players are going to be able to play for now that they mostly just shoot threes. Yeah, a long time. Like yeah, Lebron, LeBron should be around for a while. Yeah, you could have said Kobe. You could have stuck around. Some of Lebron's too many injuries. Well, though, like, they're nice to watch. What? Like some of Lebron's just like mm. just a major just throwing it down. Yeah. Like, Fuck. Like, ben Simmons is going to have better highlights though by the end of his career. Oh, Simmons, even his dunks now, though. Like, once he, like, learns how to shoot, like, a mid-ranger and stuff, mm. like, oh, watch out, like... He's, like, more athletic than LeBron, somehow. He's, like, got a couple of inches on him. He's a bit quicker. Well, I guess he's, he's crazy. <laughs> he's going to be so good. Do you reckon he'll be Le- better than LeBron? I think, by the end, if he... If, like, to be better than LeBron, he'll have to develop a three and, like, jump shot, so... But if not, then, yeah, who knows? He'll probably be as good, though. But as good. It'll, it'll be a different kind of be, oh, If he doesn't develop that shot, though, he'll just be a different kind of player, so it won't be easy to compare them. I reckon he'll be, yeah. It surely won't be as, as good as LeBron. Cause... But just like defensively, defensive potential and stuff like that is a bit better. So playmaking, you know, slightly better yeah. vision and stuff. Yeah. So it's just as well, like the teammates who are surrounded with come in the future as well. Yeah. It can like help him out. Yeah. Like, like they're, build, they're building a with. team around him too, so. Like, like from the beginning, something Cavs never, never able to do. Jimmy, that's disrespectful <laughs> to Ryan Hollins. <laughs> but like obviously, yeah, like again, Delonte West. <laughs> that's disrespectful, Cavs. You should leave right now. Quality free agents. <laughs> Delont- uh, Larry Hughes. Oh man, didn't they have um, what's his name? Uh, Lakers coach. Oh, God, my Current. Luke Walton. Yeah, Luke Walton. Didn't he play for that team for like a nah, season or something? He played like 2013 Cavs. Yeah, that's right. That's fine. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Luke Walton. But no, surely no. Surely won't be as good as LeBron. Mm. Refuse to take that chance. Who's your favourite non cav player? <coughs> uh, well, that's a good question. Yeah. Yeah, do, is there a certain team that you have like that you like to watch? Or is it really just cav? Like you're just. Just like, cavs. <laughs> oh shit. I don't know. Yeah, I don't really give a shit about any other team. Oh, fair. That's fair enough. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Quite Leonard wasn't injured. God, I love watching him play. Who? Yeah, oh, yeah. Quite. Leonard. The claw. Like, just such a good two-way player. I'll get back to you on that, Jim. What about you? Favourite Celtics player? Favourite Celtics player? Oh, it's... Like, Jason Tatum 
has to probably be my favourite at the well, moment. I said non favourite Celtics player, James. Favourite non Celtics player? Answer the question, Wendy. <laughs> Joel Embiid. Shots fired at Wendy, sorry. <laughs> at the moment at the moment Joel Embiid. Love his hype. Just um Stephen Adams fouling out in a game a couple games ago. Joel just starts waving to the crowd and they all just start waving off Adams and stuff like that. Just log. Nah, he's I think uh, just like how passionate MB is yeah. as well though. Like he's even not. just on Instagram with like his wins and stuff. All this yeah. trash talk on Instagram and that, Twitter and stuff. That but, dunk over cat. Yeah. He did that. But it's <laughs> funny because he calls players soft and then they come out and try and prove a point. So like Andre Drummond, he's having a big year after Embiid said he was soft and didn't play defense. So Hassan Whiteside as well. He's just like you can't guard me. Picked up three fouls in like five minutes. <laughs> Trying to guard Embiid, so no, he's good to watch. What about yourself, Doom? Favorite um, non Celtics player. Sick. Right now, I would oh, say I I love watching Brandon Ingram more Kuzma play. Like, I was so for the, uh, no, I like I love I love as well Embiid, but I don't know, man. Like it's fun. I, I'm getting right around like they're just the young guys at the moment, I guess. Yeah, Brandon Ingram. Well, I like Brandon Ingram. It's it's tough to say you're like a Lakers player when you're a Celtics. Fan. It is, but like I don't know, it's just <laughs> yeah, something about it's against the rules. Just but, something um, about him though, like just watching. Yeah. And I suppose as well because like I want to know how like Alonso's going to travel and stuff with all like. Mm. Just, I just like I just like what Kuzma's doing as well. Just being another player that wasn't a freshman out of college, just doing really really well. It's good to see. Hopefully, teams start drafting more of those guys earlier again. Love them. Um... Love Lonzo's passing. Yeah. Oh, so he's good. dishing the ball in a very... Well, so without a jump shot, he's like Rondo. With jump shot, he'll be really good, so... Yeah. <laughs> I, hope he de- I hope he develops his jump shot, though, because, yeah, I want to see him do well. Yeah. Did you see the um, play yesterday, the Suns winner? Yeah, Tyson, Tyson Chandler. Chandler. Tyson Chandler. <laughs> Devin Book. Oh, I can't remember who it was, but from the sideline, like... Mm. The hell you did from the sideline. Like, there was literally 0.2 seconds left. Do you reckon that was yeah. a... Yeah. And it was Tyson's It was like 0.6, I think. Do you reckon no, that was, that was a foul at all? Like, you know, like at all? No. Or, you know, no, no? Against, the reason why against I, Chandler? Yeah. The only reason why I ask is because, like, a, a few people... Like, it yeah, wasn't, going on your it wasn't comments. because I don't think he made a pushing it action. Do, it didn't look like he it just, to me. It he looked just, like he, like, jumped up and then, like, yeah. Yeah, he had strong body position and he jumped up, so the player went forward, but... I think Brandon Wright was defending it. I think he still jumped straight up. He just didn't go for the ball for some reason. I don't know why, but yeah, you shouldn't give up a basket in that situation. So mm-hmm. it was a good pass. It was right on top of the basket, though. That's where it gets gets um confusing. All right, this this should be a good topic. Your top five team going position wise. So you can't have two point guards, for example. Great, like top five of all time yes. or current of all time. players. All times better. Yeah, this is this is a really um difficult one. <laughs> There's so many good players that have played, but I did this a little while ago. Um, yeah, I know you did. Like, yeah. I wanted I wanted to make a team that would be good in like the modern NBA and stuff as well. So I, I'm pretty sure I picked Steph Curry as my point guard. Greatest three point shooter of all yeah, time. Don't do that though, Jim. Just pick like your mm-hmm. top five. Oh, I'm not picking. I'm not picking random players. I'm picking good players. <laughs> They're not going to play in like a, a fantasy game. Just pick your top five fantasy players. He wants players. them to, though. Larry Bird, starting at four. From, yeah. There you go, Jim. Greatest, <laughs> greatest player of all time, Larry Bird. Actually, I'm more likely to just pick all Celtics players. No, they're not competing. With they're not competing. <laughs> no, um, Hakeem Olajuwon, starting centre. The dream. Actually, I'll shift Larry to number three. I'll pick uh, Dennis Rodman at four. So we got Elijah one, got Rodman, got Bird. Yeah. Then we got um yeah, Steph Curry. And I'm gonna pick a two guard. Does Magic Johnson count as just a point guard? Probably. Probably. Ah, uh, there's a few good shooting guards. D Wade, Kobe Bryant. It have to be one of those two. Mm-hmm. Quite like prime. Yeah, prime. Yeah. Prime. Any, any, yeah. Even prime. though, even though D Wade's not the best shooter, probably pick him just because like good defender too, like shot blocker and everything. Right, I completely lost track. So who's your point guard? So I got Steph Curry at one. Yeah. Got. But anyway, Jamal. He'll get your points, Ooh. mate. He'll get your Keep points. Going. You got <laughs> Dwayne Wade two, Larry Bird three. Dennis Rodman, best rebounder of all time. 
at four. Yep. And Andrews at five. Hakeem, the, the dream. Because we want to get ourselves a quadruple double. <laughs> what about yourself, dude? God, that's a... Uh, oh, no. Probably just chuck in Will Chamberlain. Mm. Why not? Um, then I go definitely have Kobe in the team. 100%. Even though uh, Bill Russell wrecked him. So, that's all right. So it, it happens. Like it happens. Yeah. Um, I'd, I'd probably fire with Jimmy as well. Get Bird in the team. Yeah. Because I like he's just a gun. Modern day Larry Bird would be even better. And as then, well. point guard, jeez, that's a huge list. Um, fuck, it really is. I've got mine. It mine. really <laughs> is. Mine's is just easy in my mind. Probably bias, but anyway. Probably just have to carry over. You'd probably, you'd probably just have to. I'm trying to. I'd probably just go. You can't not say MJ in the team. Yeah. Probably throw him in. Um, at two. Oh yeah, he should have yeah. been my two guard. Oh, well, my uh, MJ. And then <laughs> I didn't. Oh uh, yeah. Well, yeah. It's not my favourites. Yeah, yeah. And that then, probably makes it easier. Um, Just gonna see D Wade play more. So appreciate. I'm trying to think. Could pick Scotty Pippen as well. Scotty Pippen there. is another. Yeah. Fuck. I'm... He's still a point guard. So he's yeah, not I think so. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to think of the minute thing. Like, yeah, no, I yeah, you're really trying to think hard. Do you feel one? Um, fuck. I'd probably we'll go with Kyrie. Kyrie. Yeah. His handles are just yeah. even yeah. like yeah. Yeah. Well, say, yeah. My, my point guard, Matthew Daly Dover. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're off to a good start. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mo Williams, Cleveland. I love Mo Williams. I Cavs. Yeah. Oh, eight. Uh, all, shooting all guard, probably Kobe. Yep. Small forward, LeBron. Yep. Power forward. You're not making many friends here. Probably Minnesota, Kevin Love. Oh, I thought you were going to say Kevin Garnett. I would have oh, respected you more, but... And then center, Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah. Probably Orlando. Oh, I didn't even think of the Shaq. Oh, my, I was out of him and, him and Hakeem, but I picked Hakeem just because, like, quadruple double. Yeah. But, <laughs> um, yeah. Final, final thoughts. Who reckon was going to win this year? The year, I should say. Championship. Yeah, the championship. Um, hard not to say Warriors. If they can get all their injuries right by the end of the season, they should still win because they're just a bit better than anyone else, talent wise. But Houston are a chance to beat them if things go their way as well. What about yourself, there? I'm sort of you. You can't rule out Warriors or Cavs, but I'm sort of going to take the opposite approach with Jimmy. I seriously think if Cavs can get healthy, because seeing like what IT showed for Celtics yeah. last year, mm-hmm. uh, that's so promising. And you're already playing around like with some quality guys. And like I said earlier in the cast, um, healthy D Wade mm-hmm. and the D Rose man, like D Rose, it's the what if with him. So you're not mm-hmm. sure. Yeah. Um, but uh, sort of with Jimmy as well, like you can't really. Rockets have proven some absolute talent, and I always yeah. think Spurs are just yeah. Uh, now Kawhi's coming back as well. Yeah, Kawhi, Aldridge is playing They're well, still like, like top four without Kawhi. I'll so. probably say Rockets or Cavs. Mm. But I, well, yeah, I imagine I reckon Rockets probably would beat Warriors. The thing about it with us is that when like he was really really good in some playoff games and series, but there was some where he just got bodied. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a bit of a problem. Right. And last question. Who wins MVP and Rookie of the Year? Oh, I kind of do want to see Harden win MVP just because he's so good offensively. But, yeah, it's tough. Um, Probably LeBron, though, the way he's playing. Mm. Um, and and rookie of the Year? Rookie of the Year, Ben Simmons. It's hard yeah, I, to, I was going to sort of... Once again, Jimmy's just sort of saying, mate, after just LeBron, LeBron, and the, in a pod. no, like honestly, like LeBron, though, like it's hard to from just what you're seeing with like LeBron and all that. You don't want to say that it's hard not for him to be him, but Harden three seasons in a row, it's just been mm. absolutely on fire. So God, it'd be pretty unlucky in, in the third yeah. season that you're playing like at the absolute best. You don't win it, and as far as rookie goes, um, I, I would think Ben Simmons has it, but. Man, if Kuzma can keep up his shooting and all mm. that, then I'm going to say there's no stuff on the Kuz train. So Tatum's going to keep getting better through the year as well. So right. <laughs> see how it goes in the end. Like Donovan Mitchell, um, LeBron or Harden, yeah, MVP, yeah, and then probably 
Donovan Mitchell. Yeah. For rookie of the year. I like his attitude. Good choice. I like his attitude. Donovan Mitchell. Mm. We've got 20. Yeah, you can. We've got. Close, close. We'll go for an hour exactly. Yeah, close the segment than us. So, uh, an hour exactly. Once again, guys, thank you for tuning into the uh, Gim Podcast. Thank Thanks, you. James, for coming on. To yeah, no worries, guys. Thank yeah. you, Mitch Weir. Our podcast <laughs> and all that. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If so, be sure to leave a like and uh, don't forget to hit subscribe. And we'll go. We will see you actually in the new year for yeah, the next one. True. So uh, yeah, bring Robo, on. You <laughs> so uh, yeah, bring on twenty eighteen and yeah. Um, yeah until next time. Guys. In yeah, enjoy.